Makey came out with another super fast aperture lens, the 35mm f.95. It has a really nice build quality. In the front we do have a stepless aperture ring and here this large ring is the focus ring that goes really nice and smooth and it has a good travel distance. Already wide open we have a really good center sharpness but as we zoom in we can see some color fringing. It's getting better at f1.4 and it's almost perfect at f2.8. This is an APS-C lens and 35mm on an APS-C camera translate into 52.5mm and that is a really nice portrait focal length. Although we have good sharpness and contrast already wide open, I found the sweet spot of the Makey 35mm.95 to be f2.8. It is very nice that we have barely any distortions and this makes this lens even more attractive. Wide open, the bokeh balls are not perfectly shaped and even at f1.4 we have some color fringing on the outer rim. At f2.8 the 13 blades of this lens make it look so much better. Flaring and sun stars are very different the more we stop it down. This lens does not come with a lens hood, but we're getting a protection cap. Filmmakers will love the fact that we have barely any focus shifting. That means if you nail the focus at f.95, then you could simply change the aperture later on and you wouldn't need to refocus. One of the clear advantages of such a wide aperture is that we can use this in even darker rooms without the need of raising the ISO to where it hurts. And here we're taking a look at longitudinal aberrations. By the way, we have a minimum focusing distance of 39cm. Already wide open, the pictures that we're getting are really usable. Of course, the corner sharpness at f.95 is not great. And I don't really mind about that, because this lens is more of a portrait lens, so I actually want the background to be a bit blurry. I was surprised to see that the images at f.95 are already usable. However, if you're facing harsh contrasts, then you have to deal with chromatic aberrations and there are two options, whether you attack them in post-production or you simply stop it down for an overall better image quality. A picture of Miss Ladybug demonstrates what I just said. So here at f.95, wide open, yes we do have already a usable image, but we have to deal with chromatic aberrations. f1.4 looks already much better, but as soon as we stop it down to f2.8 we have the perfect image and the chromatic aberrations are gone. What are your thoughts on the Makey 35mm f.95? Let me know in the comments below. Also, a free way to support my channel is to leave a like. And if you like my channel overall, please consider to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Till the next time, stay safe, stay tuned and take care. Bye for now.